Hello everyone. My name is Nekwen Obasoge. As you can see, I just came back from outside this evening. I said I can't say this anymore. I have to say something about my Edo people. Oh my God. My Edo people have proven to me the greatness of the Benin Kingdom. They assured me that they are behind me. Only the sky is my limit. Sister Edith Idemodia produced a song a few months ago to honor me, and she said it as well. Today, my Edo people reassured me that they are truly behind me. This afternoon, Mr. Felix DJ called me saying that I have a $500 donation. I should come and pick up my money. I went there. He gave me the money. I was just dancing around in the bar. Dancing around. He was looking at me saying, you know what? You are a very lucky girl. I said, no. I know that I'm a lucky girl. But my two people are the pillars behind my successes. Oh, my God. You know why I'm so impressed? Why I'm so grateful about today's donation? This is not the first time of receiving donation from the ESA United here in Toronto. Last month, the organization, under the organization, they wrote a check and gave it to me. I even published the check on Facebook pro my Facebook profile. Individuals under the ESA United bought the book and they paid for the book. Mr. Felix DJ himself last week donated $250. Today, the president himself donated $500 for the production of the book. How can I express my gratitude to my dope people? You can see why my last video I said, I've shed tears of joy in this house so many times because of the support I'm receiving from the public, specifically from my dope people. For those that attended the first session of the book launch, you guys saw what happened. Barista Kingsley Jesse Robo donated $1,000. Dr. Dorothy Ayala donated $1,000. I can't mention everybody's name, a lot of people. After the first session of the book launch, those who were not able to attend the Zoom on that day donated. Only God knows how much I received after the first session of the book launch from those who were not able to attend the Zoom on that day. I'm speechless. My two people raised me to be the woman that I am today. And they assured me that they are behind me. I have this testimony. Last year, during the Edo State election, I was sitting in the studio here. I received almost $2,000 donation to my GoFundMe account. I was so surprised. I said, oh my God, somebody must have been hacked my account or mistakenly sent the money to my account because I was not I was not expecting such a big money from anyone. I said, oh my God, who is this person? I saw the name that donated. I've never seen this name before. I said, I was saying that I received an email from the person that donated the money. One of my doe brothers, I've never met him before, he donated almost $2,000. One thousand nine hundred and forty something dollars to my account, my GoFundMe account. He called me. He said, "Let me I donated this money for you because I was watching your documentaries on YouTube, and uh, I bumped into your website. I saw that some people have donated for you in the past, but." The money is not enough for you. You deserve more than that. So himself and the wife decided to donate such a huge money for me. When I went to California, I can't just explain the hospitality, the support, 